Hello, I'm going to demonstrate satellite motion. With satellite motion, we have, uh, for example, a satellite orbiting a planet such as the Earth. And here the satellite is moving around this circle in this path. And uh, the satellite uh, has an inward force on it to keep it moving in that curved path. And that inward force is the gravitational force. The centripetal force is due to gravity on a satellite uh, in orbit. I can... Uh, demonstrate that here. Uh, let me uh, turn to this uh, fish bowl with a marble in it and I'll start the marble rolling around there and we see that the bowl pushes in on the marble supplying the centripetal force to keep it going but it is in the case of the actual satellite it's the force of gravity that supplies that centripetal force. Another model of that would be, uh, would be this dish here. And uh, if I uh, have the satellite up here and release it, the force will be such as to cause it to fall straight in toward the planet that it might be falling toward. However, if we give it a horizontal velocity, just the right speed, we can get that uh, satellite to move in uh, near circular orbit. And again, it's the force of the dish pushing in on the satellite that supplies a centripetal force to keep that satellite from moving off in a straight line and to maintain its circular motion. Uh, we can also illustrate that with the, uh, the help of this bowling ball. Here I have a bowling ball on the end of a cable. We could let that swing as a pendulum. If I hold it out here and release it, the force of uh, tension of the uh, pendulum will be such as to, uh, of this cable here, have a component uh, in the approximately hor horizontal direction that'll cause it to fall inward in much the same way that the uh, satellite, if it isn't moving, will fall in toward the center of the earth. But if this pendulum is given a horizontal push out here, I'll push it in this horizontal direction, we'll call it, I'll move it in that direction with just the right speed and if we tune that up just a little bit, we can get that uh, pendulum to swing and uh, orbit in a near circular orbit. And uh, the force that causes the pendulum to move in that curved path is the component of tension in the cable in toward the center of the circle. The center of the circle will be right here near where I'm standing. It's as if I'm pulling it in toward the center, pull, 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 only the thing that's Pulling it in toward the center is a component of tension in the cable. So that demonstrates that if there's no horizontal motion, the satellite will fall in to the planet. But if there's a horizontal motion, that satellite will tend to move in a straight line under the influence of its tendency to move in a straight line. And the centripetal force, it'll move in a curved path in that fashion. Satellite motion.